So if you're thinking, do I have enough goats to justify a milking machine on my farm? Like I'm not very big, we, don't, we only have a couple goats. Hopefully today we can help you answer that question. What's up Caddy Wampus crew? Welcome back to Caddy Wampus Acres. It's Jason. If you're raising goats for milk or dairy, uh, I'm sure you've thought to yourself at some time, is it worth it for me to get a milking machine, a automatic milker, whatever you want to call it. So today what we're going to do is we're going to build a milking machine. The milking machine that we're going to be using in our uh, milk parlor, barn, whatever you want to call it. So come along with us as we build this milking machine. We scoured the internet, we we looked into a lot of things, we looked, checked into a lot of milking devices, we've even tried several of the hand pump style, uh, the cheap ones you can get off of Amazon, and this is one of those instances where the less money you spend, the more hassle and trouble you're going to have. Um, we decided to go with a pulsation system, uh, that's what we feel is the best for the girls Jolene apparently would agree so there's a lot of systems out there we're not endorsed or by anybody we're not necessarily endorsing any in particular we are certainly not sponsored by any of these uh, there's a lot of options out there but the one we really got interested in was the simple pulse milking machine now for about 750 to 850 dollars you can get a their whole setup and i will say it is quite impressive it's got an overflow it's a full setup you literally just have to put a few things together and everything's right there for you i feel like that's probably one of the better systems and you can do um, up to a couple goats with that or one full cow but me being me uh, the farmer in me and the um i guess uh, wanting to use some ingenuity uh, we decided that we would go ahead and try building uh, a similar setup to the simple pulse system and see how it worked in the long run i believe we probably ended up saving about 250 to 300 dollars if we would have purchased the whole system from simple pulse we did buy a lot of our um, items from simple pulse just because it made sense and the one thing i will say that simple pulse has a lockdown on and i know is patented by them is their milk jar lids we'll show you those those things are incredible what a what a what a great invention and i hope that they make a lot of money off those things because that is brilliant brilliant so let's go ahead and get into building this milking machine and we're going to show you how it works and hopefully you can decide can i justify a milking machine on my farm with my goat herd let's get into it so the key to our milking system working is going to be uh, this manifold i believe this is i just built this i didn't want to take you through the arduous process of building it it's not really that arduous um but yeah so this uh, needed to make this now all the parts that we ordered and all the little hose barbs and everything can now go on to this piece of pvc and what it is is um three three quarter inch to half inch PVC tees. They're threaded at the top and they're glue on the ends and this is just PVC I had laying around. They have a glue to half inch bushing there, glue to half inch bushing there, and then I threaded in half to three eighths uh, brass bushings at the top. Nice, uh, nice little uh, setup here and this will get us going with all the parts we need to install in this but so this is going to be the most important thing that we build on here and the, it, like i said probably took me less than 10 minutes to build so i threaded in a nipple this is just a galvanized nipple and i i've been using teflon tape on all this so we purchased the pulsator from uh simple pulse this is the one that they use on their setup very nice one um, but the thing i noticed is is that apparently their system doesn't use a threaded connection and so where the vacuum comes into the bottom it's just a rubber uh, i don't know what you'd call it, a gasket i guess if you will and it takes a 3 8 something that's a 3 8 so what i did is i just taped up this 3 8 nipple and i'm just going to shove it down on to here and you can sort of thread it a little bit it's not actually threading though but um, i'm going to pretend like i'm threading it but it sort of just um, uses the rubber to sort of set it straight on there so we'll set that in the middle like that and we're only going to use one of these this our system's only going to have one actual um 
pulsator currently. Hey, maybe we'll expand later. But and then this is the adjustment in the back here. So yeah. So we got the top part of it done. Um, this is the gauge. It's a liquid filled gauge and it goes up to 30 hg vacuum got this on amazon it was like 10 bucks and then this is the pressure regulator from simple pulse as well and it looks to be 3d printed if i was a guessing man so it didn't look like this on the website it was just like a brass deal so um, this is how you regulate it so here we go um we're i think we're all set got our barbs installed on either end this will go over to our jar setup this will go down to our vacuum pump pretty weighty pulsator we'll have one hose that goes to our milk line right there and then we'll be able to hopefully if this works properly Keaton's mowing the lawn we'll be able to up lower and raise the pressure with this valve here so we're gonna get the hoses all set up and see if it works the way we want it to work all right we are here in our milk parlor we had to rearrange a little bit um, the goats are getting a little cranky outside, so we're going to have to get them in here soon. But I did want to show you what we ended up going with with our final setup. Uh, the one thing I need to do is um, this these vacuum pumps put out some oil out of the exhaust. I need to just run a hose somewhere out to exhaust that oil because it does splash out. Um, so we have our pump here. Our vacuum pump goes right over here to our manifold vacuum pump into our manifold first thing we have is our pressure regulator that's a pretty nice thing that uh, simple pulse did then we have the pulsator right here we're only using one side and then this is our pressure gauge we're usually trying to keep it between um, about 12 and 15 uh, hg and then uh, one end of the manifold here comes out and goes into this part of the lid the white part of the lid the other hose out of this jar comes up to our uh, teacups our inflations here this the pulsator goes right into the hose which also goes into this part of the inflation so works out pretty well i can honestly say um we, we put a filter inside here i'll show you there's a filter right here inside it's just these fill filters that simple pulse sells and so our milk is being filtered as it goes into the jar which is amazing so let's get these goats in here and uh, let's get this process going as always we clean them up and uh, i go ahead and start up the milker check my gauge make sure we're not going over 15 at all that's good. And it's not too loud, nothing too crazy, but um, it works. We found that, that I think it's considered the Nigerian inflation. They work very well with our whole herd. So they're not, they're right about the perfect height for the Nigerians. And the Lamazas have no problem either, and they have plenty of length um, for the teeth. The Veruca has longer teeth, and so um, we have no problem with that. And you can see it going in. We're using the vented um, claw here, and it works pretty well. I feel like it speeds it up a little bit. And you can see it going right into the top of there, and it's being filtered as it goes in. All right, all good. And then we have these two buttons back here. I just empty, empty out the lines real good. Turn it off. Do a quick iodine dip. Not everybody does that, we do. We've had goats with mastitis, and this is what University of Georgia recommended to us. Same thing, nothing really different. If you have trouble getting, if you have trouble getting them on their teats, when I put it on, I just hit the button and it goes right on. It's like that. So she is, she just went from our biggest goat to our smallest goat. And you can see these Nigerian inflations are like perfect size. 
not only is Jolene the smallest in stature, her teeth are the smallest out of the whole herd, uh, where uh, Luna has slightly average teeth, but she is by far the tallest. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish milking out the rest of the herd, and then I'll show you how we do clean up and show you what really makes this worth it in the end. All right, we finished up. So now we need to show you how we uh, we empty the milk out and clean it up. We have one of these stainless steel containers. I like ordered that on Amazon. Works pretty well. And I'll show you a nice feature of these lids from Simple Pulse. I think these are literally literally like the only way to go. So you just pop this cap here. Put it out of the way. Still hooked up to all the hoses and everything. And then I just pour out my milk. My filtered milk. It's awesome. My filtered milk's poured out. Put my cap back in. So now I have a bucket with some a little bit of bleach in it, water and bleach, and a bucket with a little bit of soap and water. And we start the system up. And we'll take, take our inflation, go in the soapy water first, and I'll clean up the hose a bit. And you want to clean this out once a week completely. And then you just push your buttons on the bottom, and you'll see it goes right there into my jar. I'll do about half with the soapy water. So I suck air and go into the bleach water. Same thing. Make it try not overflow. Don't want to overflow this system. There we go. Simple as that. And then the next thing I do is I'll hang everything out, pull my hoses. Let it all hang and dry, and then take this inside, take this inside, and we're good to go. So all in all, the big question is, is your farm big enough or your goat herd big enough to justify a milking system? I'm going to say yeah. Currently, we're milking two La Manchas and three Nigerian dwarfs. We have more um, that we're hoping are pregnant, and so we'll add more to the mix. Um, I ordered these two jars, these were 80 bucks together with the lids, and so you're talking two gallons here. I mean, it, you could definitely hold more if you had more goats, but even if you had one goat, I think it's worth it. The cleanup essentially is not any different than when you're cleaning up after a normal hand milking. It just saves your hands a lot of trouble, and what's nice is we have some goats that have very small teats, we have some that have very large teats. Both ways, it, they both go on these inflations just fine and we have no issues. So I would highly recommend uh, either getting the full system from Simple Pulse, which is somewhere in the $800 range and it's got, it's got a very nice, uh, it's got an overflow and it's got a very nice um, system and it's all built for you. You literally just uh, put it together and plug and play. It's a very nice system. Um, I had the ability to do it uh, myself, I saved myself about uh, probably $250, $300 by building the system myself, and um, it, we're happy with it. Very, very happy. We've been milking by hand for several years now, and so this is our first uh, go around with a milking system. It's 100% worth it. I don't want to say if you have one or two goats, or if you have eight or ten goats, I, in my opinion, in our opinion, we think definitely worth it. Cleanup is very easy. Like I said, once a week, you're going to come through and do a full cleaning. We, we bought the brushes and everything that go with it so you can clean out the hoses. But uh, your, daily, your daily routine is literally just doing what I did now, and it all sort of filters into a jar like that. Just these lids on their own. These are the newer lids from Simple Pulse. In my opinion, this is the biggest benefit of the system. A lot of this stuff you can buy from other stuff. I believe they have a patent 
on these lids and boy this is uh, they deserve every dime they make from these lids these filtration lids that just pop apart and you can pour out and they have a handle 100% worth it. it's like I said two lids and two gallon jars 80 bucks worth every dime worth every dime and just you know using it for a week you it'll be worth it it'll pay itself off so that's it thank you for joining us on Caddy Wampus Acres and always remember what we always say here when you homestead you're home fed we'll see you guys next time <laughs>